In this busy world, we are all required to play many roles. I am a mother. I am a teacher. I am the mother for two children. I am a single It's a beautiful world filled with happiness and adventure, but it is also unpredictable. And sometimes, despite your hard work and dedication, life throws you a curveball. When Phoenix was three months old, she was diagnosed with HLH a rare life-threatening disease that affects the immune system. Three of our children have cystic fibrosis and one is wheelchair-bound with brain damage. Aiden and Madison were born at 31 weeks with congenital heart disease and have had nine surgeries between them in the first two years of life. We brought my nephew Isaiah over from Guyana and legally adopted him because he wasn't being properly treated for his cancer. Twelve-year-old daughter Stephanie was wearing protective gear when another dirt bike crashed into her. My water broke in early April. I was placed on bed rest for weeks and delivered seven weeks early. Life's curveballs are very real. They are encompassing. They mold us and change us. They challenge us. And no matter how hard we have worked for stability in our lives, they can completely overwhelm us. I was unable to return to work after Isabel was born because she was on a feeding tube and she needed me. I'm if all of our children were healthy, my husband and I would be better able to work to be able to pay the bills. I was working as a director of admissions at a career college. I was forced to give up my career when she was born in order to take care of her. I still would have died if we did not bring him to America. We both had full-time jobs. We were financially secure. I had Desiree's birth at 29 weeks. We were living comfortably and within our means. When disaster strikes, you expect that there is going to be a safety net that will catch you and support you so that you can focus solely on the love and care of your child. For many families, there isn't, and they are left stranded, falling behind on bills, in fear of eviction, or unable to afford the necessary equipment for their child to live comfortably. And then they find us. For 10 years, Fred's footsteps has been there. The support lifted is such a heavy weight off my shoulders. I didn't have to worry that our house was going to go into foreclosure. For 11 years, we worked hard and sacrificed so that Tommy could stay in our family home. And then something out of our control took that away from us. Fred's footsteps made it possible for him to stay here with us. Fred's footsteps supports hard-working families. We provide a funding bridge to help them adjust to their changing needs. We offset lost wages when a parent is forced to leave work and provide around-the-clock care for their child. We fund necessary home renovations to accommodate wheelchairs and other medical equipment. We cover transportation costs incurred traveling to and from medical facilities. We purchase medical equipment to help a child live more comfortably and independently. And we pay household bills that have been on the back burner due to medical expenses. So what are the footprints that we have left over the last 10 years? We are Fred's footsteps. We are Fred Footsteps. We are Fred Footsteps. We are Fred Footsteps. Very good, okay. We are Fred Footsteps. We are Fred Footsteps. We are Fred Footsteps. We are Fred Footsteps. I am Fred Footsteps. I am Fred's footsteps.